Hi everybody, a quick video on fine line masking tape. Now I, I had a look on YouTube and there's various videos, always loads of videos on there, but none of them seem to uh, go into the tape very much really. Uh, so I wanted to do uh, a video on the different types of tape so that you know people that uh, are, are new to this or whatever would have an idea of, of, of the different types of tape. So I've done a, a video which uh, is like a two two tone on a a, a bike tank, but I'm, I don't know whether it's uploaded yet because I'm not sure what order I'll upload them. But when they are, I'll link I'll link the two together. But what I wanted to do is show you the different types of tape and show you the differences between the fine line tape and the normal masking tape. Now, with fine line tape, it's normally thinner. Although you can get like this is actually thin thin paper masking tape. But for, for fine lines or for, for hard hard edges, you need to use a fine line tape and normally they're vinyl. So this stuff is, is made of vinyl rather than paper. Like your normal, you know, your normal masking tapes are made of paper. These are made of vinyl. So there's a few things to remember. Because they're made of vinyl, they they respond better if you're doing curves, etc. They respond better when it's warmer. So when the environment's warmer, so if you can't make your work workshop warmer, we've got no heating in here, so which is why I'm wearing a hat and look like I'm, you know, minus four or whatever it is. But you, you, the, the warmer it is, the, the easier this stuff is to move about, uh, and it's easier to take off as well when you when you come to taking it off. But let's go through the different tapes. One thing to remember is to try and keep your tape clean, clean, because obviously this. If this is your edge, this is going to be your edge on, on everything you're doing. So you don't want to be putting them down all over the place in the workshop or whatever because you pick up loads of rubbish on, on the corners here. And that, that's going to transfer itself to your lines. When you're doing a line on paint, in paintwork, you don't want loads of rubbish down the edge of it because you, it's just going to look awful, isn't it? So the idea is you need to keep it as clean as possible so this is an old ice cream container not not that i look like i eat a lot of ice cream but this is an old ice cream container and um i keep mine in there and i also use the lid the lid upside down uh to to actually store it when i'm using it so if you're using a certain size you'll put it on the lid etc etc so let's just go through various things so you get various sizes and they go from 25 mil down really this is a 12 mil which is about half inch for you guys over the pond this is a six mil which is going to be just under a quarter of an inch that's a six mil different type of tape which i'll run for in a minute and that's a three mil you can get 1.5 as well which is obviously really small i have no need to use that really but you notice the tape's a different color now i use j tape i'm not sponsored by j tape or anything like that so you know i pay for all my products so all i wanted to say is that they're regarded as quite a good tape and though i buy these in the uk i don't know whether you can buy them in the states or um australia or anywhere you know around the world really but i know you, obviously we get them from the uk so you'd have to research into what whatever you uh you know whatever's available in your area i know 3m do some as well but these are regarded normally as better than 3m but you know as i say i've never used 3m but i've used these so going back to your different types of tape so you've got your different widths and these are different colors for a reason and it's because of the elasticity of them you know the the amount of movement you get now obviously if you're doing tight lines on paintwork you want something that that is more elastic so that when you pull this like that and you pull it it can stretch slightly so that when you're going around the bend with it when you're trying to put it round a corner that stretch allows you to get it around the corner now you have to be careful because if you're doing this as one line so in other words you want to use both edges so your your paint is on both edges you need to keep the width the same so when you pull it and turn it you, you don't want to pull it too much that it distorts the tape because obviously being being flexible like this the more you pull it the thinner it gets effectively because it's got to go somewhere to allow for the the movement 
So your different your different types of tape. The blue on J tape, if I remember rightly, the blue is uh, a, a semi flexible. You've got uh, an orange which is slightly flexible, and you've got olive. I don't use the orange normally, but you've got the olive. Now the olive is is not flexible at all. But the, the good thing about not flexible is that if you're using it for um, if you think about using it for uh, straight lines on tanks and things like that, something where you pull it like that and you can you can pull the tape and not get too much flex and then put it down and your line stays the same. Uh, so it's good for that, but it's not so good for going around corners. That's what it seems to be anyway. It's, it's not it's not as when you turn it like that, it's not as flexible. It's still still got some give there, but when you try and go round a corner, it doesn't stretch. It tries to stay the same. As you can see, it's distorted there. It tries to stay the same. So there's different types of tape. So when you're thinking about what you want, you want to do, if you want to do straight lines and you're going to buy some tape, have a look at what, what you know different manufacturers available where you are and have a look and, and see which is best for what you want to do. If you want to do curves, you want a nice flexible tape and you want to make the tank reasonably warm not hot so that you you know burn yourself but you need to make it reasonably warm so that you can you can get a bit of a bit of movement in that tape because being vinyl the warmer it is the more it will move so if you know if it's really really cold you need to be able to uh, move the tape so you need to either warm, warm the workshop up which isn't always possible but you can warm the work up the heat gun and things like that so I'm going to I'll show you a few bits, uh, clips of me doing this tank. I did a two-tone tank for the channel. Welcome to the second part of the video. So this is, you can see I'm doing the uh, the fine lines for the, the tank in the little project I've done for the channel. And this is sped up by one and a half times, so it is faster than uh, than you would normally do it. But you can see it's it's not too difficult even if you don't do it a lot and i don't do fine line masking that often to be fair but if you're new to this the things to look out for and you know that's what this video is for really is for people that are, uh, are new to this sort of thing the things to look out for is as i said before the temperature so because it's vinyl the warmer it is the more supple and easier to move the tape is you've got to bear in mind that the, the tank or whatever you're doing is more than likely to be new paintwork and you don't want you don't want to leave paintwork for a few days before you you do another uh, another color on top because the the paint goes off effectively and it means that uh, often the the paint doesn't adhere properly if, it, if it's exactly the same paint so it's another solvent based paint or whatever then it can re-energize it so you're not too bad but you do have to be careful about what you're doing and of course the other thing you need to be really careful about is is any contaminants on the um, paintwork because this is this is all done in one afternoon you have to be really really careful of getting contaminants on the paint because you can't use a normal degreaser or whatever afterwards because it takes the paint off it tries to take the paint off so you just need to be really really careful but you can see to, to get around the, the around the corners there you're just stretching the tape stretching the tape out uh, and you, it allows you to go around the corners and we're only after one good one good edge on this because those those two parts of the tank where your knees would normally go are going to be silver and i'll link the videos up so that you can see what they are uh, what it comes out like in the end but they're going to be silver so obviously you need to make sure that 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 line that you're after needs to be the tank needs to be down all the way because you don't want any seepage underneath because again if you do get seepage coming through then you won't be able to retrieve it not properly because you won't be able to sand it and you won't be able to use thinners to remove the paint because you'll be removing the other layer as well you can put um, what they call an intercoat uh, clear on it which is like a base coat binder if you're going to do a lot of taping it helps to protect the paintwork underneath uh, so you can do that or you can clear it with a 2k clear uh, and then sand it and then apply your your various lines if that's what you want to do but obviously it makes the process a lot lot longer so this way it's actually not too bad time wise so you can see as i say it's sped up one and a half times so you can see how actually how long it takes to do you can see i'm using a thicker tape here and that's simply because it will give me an, an easier line across there less masking to do afterwards 
uh, and it's just because it, it's a straight line it's easy to do with a thicker tape if you try and do the corners with a, th with a thicker tape it's much more difficult so the thinner the tape the better it goes around the corners but you do have to bear in mind as I said before or I think I said on the, the first part of the video that uh, when you're masking over then obviously you, you need to uh, you need to have enough for it to, for your paper to mask to so that it doesn't bleed underneath the um, underneath the tape and through to the paintwork on the other side anyway i hope the video has been to use to somebody all right cheers take care bye bye